Hey there, my friends, it's Brad the Bearded Piper, and I hope you all are having a great day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that are out there. Um, I know there's probably not a lot of mothers that are watching my channel, but if you are a mother and you enjoy a pipe and you're watching, happy Mother's Day. If you're a mother and you're in the room and you can hear my voice while somebody else is watching this video, happy Mother's Day. If you're a mother and you don't enjoy a pipe and you just watch because you, you, you like what you see, happy Mother's Day. So, but... Um, it's a beautiful day here. It's starting to cool off. It's it's dark. I had to turn the porch light on so you could see me here. Uh, but yesterday was the second Saturday of May 2023, and it was the May meeting of the Pittsburgh and Washington Pipe Club um, meeting. So we meet like we always do at the Allegheny Smokeworks in Blonox, and it was a great time. Um, Homer brought some really nice pipes, a couple of J. Allens, I think an S-Bang that he picked up at the um chicago pipe show he told us all about the pipe show that was a lot of fun some cigar guys came in and we laughed and talked about it if you've ever been in the pittsburgh area you're from the pittsburgh area there was a pizza shop in uh forest hills called vincent's and i know if noah was watching he'll know what i'm talking about and uh, they called it a vinnie pie and it was the most interesting pizza place that you've ever been into um the guy put pals and i mean pals and pals of toppings on your pizza and it was greasy and it left puddles of grease on the cardboard that he put the pizza on the grease would go through the cardboard in fact one of the cigar smokers told us the first time he got one he put it on the tan leather seats of his cadillac and it stained the seats and then by the time he got home and that doesn't surprise me at all it was horrible for your arteries excellent for your tongue it was the best pizza I've ever had in my life. Um, so, but I think Vincent has since passed, but uh, although I think one of his family members might be running it now, we, we live pretty far away from it. So, uh, it's been a while since, since we've been there. So, man, um, so, but anyway, um, but, uh, it was, it was a great time. I opened up a 2007 tin of obsidian. I may have already said that. So, but so I think I'm repeating myself. So let's just go into what was really exciting for me other than the camaraderie, the talking, the enjoying the company, the absorbing of information and knowledge I get from all of the guys that are there, my pet mentor, John, and Homer, and Rick, and it was just so much fun. We're gonna do today a Brad's bag because I managed to pick up a little bit early some Sutliff Paradoxical. Now, this is the sixth blend in the Birds of a Feather series from Sutliff. Um, I have absolutely loved the first five. This blend wasn't supposed to come out until August. In fact, they had a release in the fourth uh, blend was released in January. And then the fifth relief wasn't supposed to, fifth, fifth release wasn't supposed to be until May. Um, and then this release was supposed to be in August, but for some reason they bumped the fifth release up into, into March. And then I think it was March. And then the paradoxical came out on March 17th. And that's a few days from now, but I managed to score it a little early and I'm very happy about that. So let's talk about the birds of a feather series real quick. So up to this point, I have absolutely loved all of the the birds of a feather there was let's see if i i think i have it right here the first one was uno excellent whimsical good but uno was still my favorite aberrant became my favorite eccentric became my favorite anomalous became my favorite of all of them right and anonymous was anomalous was really good it had a caterini perique in it they took the caterini the the uh oriental caterini leaf and they put it through a periking process and it was fantastic and all i can say is i'm really glad i bought multiple tins of this because they're one-offs right they're they're basically small batches um so i have some in my cellar that i can bring them out later and enjoy them and hopefully fingers crossed that time will make them better um so they're pretty good fresh so hopefully time will make them better but this paradoxical is a little different than the other ones so this is a, uh, it says Paradoxical offers, I'm going to pull my glasses up because it's a little dark out here. It says Paradoxical offers burly complemented with a rare rustica leaf. What does that mean? Vitamin N, vitamin N, vitamin N. I look weird without my glasses. Um, 
supported by sweet Virginias, supported, supported by the Virginias. Um, the nutty notes are accented with underlying cocoa characteristics of fine burley. The stout rustica then offers spice and earthy notes, bringing a bold character to the flavor and body. Now this is typically whenever I'm in the Brad's bag where I'd pop the tin and I would show you what it looks like and I would load my pipe and I would light it and I would puff on it for a little bit and tell you how it is and all of that. And I'm not gonna do that today. Instead, I already opened it. I already enjoyed it. And now I'm gonna tell you about it. So it has the standard Elizabethan collar style paper in it and then the piece of cardboard to help keep the moisture in. And it is in flakes, a lot like Bengal slices. Uh, it's almost a crumble cake flake type of a thing. Um, and you can see the dark colors and the light colors in there. And it has a very hay smell to it. it. It smells a lot like a hayloft to me, or if you're at a Lowe's or a Home Depot that sells uh, straw, and um, our local Lowe's keeps their straw in a tractor trailer. So if you get in that tractor trailer, you get that smell from the straw, although it's more hay than it is straw. Mm. And it's kind of, it's sweet. It's got a sweet smell to it and, and maybe a little bit of a, I don't know, the dark fruit, like a, like a plummy type of a, of a smell to it as well. But it smells divine, okay? Now I, of course, was a little bit worried about the Burley and the Rustica, but I love Burleys and I love Rustica. It's just that sometimes my body doesn't like the vitamin N that they put out. So let's get into how this thing, how it was, how, how I liked it, how it tasted and what I enjoyed it. So I put it in and loaded up my uh, SNR Bulldog. This is uh, made by Roswitha Anderson out of Columbus, Ohio. It was my, um, I bought this and another one were my very first artisan pipes last year at the Columbus Pipe Show. First light, instant nuttiness. That's all I got, nuttiness. It was, it was just really, really nutty, um, which is from the Burley, which makes sense because it's a Burley base. And then it smoothed out. Um, it was sweet. Uh, the nuttiness kind of took a background to the sweetness to it. Um, it was, I didn't get any grassiness out of it or like chewing on, when we were kids, we would, we would pull a, a, I guess technically it was a weed. I don't know. We would chew on the end of it and there was always a little bit of a sweet flavor to it. It was a little like that, but it was just sweeter. Um, no plums or any citrus or anything like that. I didn't get anything like that out of it. I just got a nice, smooth, sweet enjoyment from uh, from the blend. It was pretty much straight the whole way. Uh, at some points, there was a little bit of spiciness to it, which I think comes from the Rustica, but nothing overpowering. Uh, it wasn't crazy spicy. It didn't tingle my tongue. There was zero tongue bite, and the moisture content is Perfect. Just like the other five releases, it is perfect right out of the tin. Absolutely love the stuff. About three quarters of the way in, I started feeling the vitamin N. So I'm going to say it's not, um, I have that straight Rustica, that crumble cake from Sutliff. Uh, my buddy John uh, was giving it away because he said it turned him green and I understand why. Um, uh, so far, the, the most I've gotten was a half bowl out of it before. I'm like, I, I gotta be careful here, it's gonna make me sick. Um, but I love the way it tastes. And um, this stuff is good. I think it, I had a nice big meal for dinner tonight, so I think that helped. But um, I think I would be fine if I drank more throughout the day. Uh, going to my mom's house and then her mom's house and then home. Uh, even with dinner tonight, I didn't drink anything, but I did have a nice big meal. Uh, so I even brought out a bottle of Snapple iced tea to drink while I was enjoying my pipe and I haven't even opened it yet. And this is a problem. I've talked about this before. I really need to fix that. So, but while we're here, let's open this up and I'll tell you what my Snapple fact is. Um, but it is really good. It is a really good blend. It is, the sweetness is what does it for me. Um, and then now that I'm done with the pipe, I have a nuttiness in it. That's kind of gross, but I have a, like a, like a nuttiness, um, uh, flavor in my mouth uh, on my tongue so but uh, today's Snapple fact is 
the Caspian Sea is actually a lake. Huh. So, um, I drink a lot of Snapple. I know a lot of facts. So uh, that's it. That's that's my take on it. It's good. It is sweet. I would say uh, on the vitamin N side, it's probably on the high end of medium um, or the low end of high. And, and we're probably closer to the low end of high, at least for me, that's what I would say. Um, I am glad that I picked up more than one tin to have some in my cellar. Um, it will be something that I go to. Uh, will I put it into my regular rotation? <sighs> Maybe, um, but here's the thing. I don't really have a regular rotation. Uh, I, well, I should take that back. Um, I have been enjoying a lot of um, Gawith's American Delight. Um, specifically because my wife and I switched vehicles. She took my great big Ram extended Sprinter class high roof van um, to drive around because she most of the time she's driving, she has the dogs with her. Uh, and I took over her minivan. So I told her when I took over the minivan, hey, I'm gonna enjoy my pipe in it. And she said, no, I don't care, it's your van now. So uh, I went from vinyl seats and, and, and uh, you know, vinyl floors to carpets and um, cloth seats. So I've been, the American Delight's a little bit of an aromatic, so I'm kind of been enjoying that in it. So um, it's really good too, I really do enjoy it. But anyway, nah, you don't care about that stuff. So you care about the paradoxical, and it's good, I like it. Um, did it take over the number one spot like all of the other ones did in progression? No, it did not. Um, the, uh, Anomalous is still is still my favorite. Um, I really like that Caterini Perique in there, um, but it's it's up there. I mean, it's it's the top. It's one of the top six. <laughs> Get it? There's only six blends. Uh, I'd say it's top five for sure. Um, I'd say it's probably top three. It is it is really really good. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that helps you for the release that's coming up. And um, until we talk again, my friends, remember life is good, but it is better with a pipe.